Hey guys, so we're back on the stream here live today uh, from the shop, or I guess my desk, but kind of a shop. So today we're going to do the PSU Shroud for the Define S as well as I think we can probably get started on the front panel mod if we have time and if people want to see that. We're just going to start cutting it. I still haven't gotten the panel in yet from uh, PPCs, but it should be arriving sometime today. So I'm excited to see that. I'll definitely post some pictures for you guys. Uh, you've seen it before, but I'll post some more. Uh, should be a fun mod. And then I think I can try to explain the res wall mod that I plan on doing, or at least going to try to do. People wanted me to like actually put in a custom reservoir into the place in the Define S there that's called the reservoir wall. So I'm going to maybe try to do that. We'll see how well it works. Going to get some more tools and, and get some plastic and start on that hopefully this week as well. But without further ado, I guess we can try to get started on this PSU shroud here. Let me get the... I'm trying a little bit of a new thing here. So I got both cameras up. I don't know, you guys can tell me how it looks. And I think I actually fixed the uh, the video because it wasn't running at 1920 by 1080 before for the webcams. So let me know if it looks any better. But first off here, we just have the PSU shroud. I've got it cut to size, and then I've also... I don't know if you can see it very well. It's because it's clear and there's nothing else. You want to take off the plastic before we bend it. But I've scored just very lightly where I want to actually bend it. Not only does it mark it, but it also just kind of helps the score go along, or the bend go along. So we've got that marked. And today I've got one of the benders that I've actually made for Hank that we plan on selling. These things are nearly done now. I just got to make a guide for it. So it's just going to be like a block on dowels that you know, you set on there, and then you'll be able to just go all the way up to 90 degrees. Today we'll just use a square. It works perfectly fine. You'll get a decent bend with that. Should be perfect. So, we'll get started on bending this, if you guys are all ready. Make sure your, your wire is lined up with where you want to bend, because that's pretty much exactly where it will bend. So, once we've got that, I'll go ahead and fire up the PSU, and it's going to take a minute or two here to heat up. Usually one to two minutes is all. So, now we get to wait. Does anybody have any questions so far as far as making a PSU shroud? I guess the reason why I'm doing, you might have noticed that there's going to be two bends. Um, Hank wanted me to do one with two bends because we're going to put a lip in the back, so you can actually screw it to the case. And uh, we'll do that after I get it bent, or hopefully we can do that. And uh, just make it, you know, more secure and a more permanent mod, I guess. So we're going to have some fun with that today, I think. And a metal break. Yeah, I need a metal break, dude. Uh, I would love to start working with any kind of metal, aluminum, or steel. It'd be really fun. I want to make my own test bench. So maybe one day, get my hands on a metal break. But pretty soon, hopefully, you can actually pick up one of these benders. Um, I should have them shipped out to Hank either tomorrow or Thursday. Just got to finish up, like I said, that little angle guide, and after that it should be pretty much good to go. I don't know, what do you guys think? How does it look so far? Would you buy it? <laughs> should be nearly ready to bend. Is everybody ready? Gonna get our guide ready. So, once it is hot enough, I guess you can always test a little bit. Yeah, I don't think yet. Let me give it a little bit more. You can kind of feel it out a little bit. You're not going to ruin the bend. So, we still got to wait. Looks like people are actually stopping by today. Thanks for coming, everybody. Um, let me know if you have any questions about what's going on. I'm happy to answer them, or just any questions in general. I answer water cooling and modding questions all day, so it doesn't bother me any. I think it should be just about ready. It's taking its time. But, it'll get there. <laughs> In due time. Sorry for the wait, guys. It's just kind of the nature of the work. 
sometimes it's a rush to get everything done, and other times you gotta hurry up to wait. There we go. I think it's pretty much ready. Give it another 10 seconds here. You're not really gonna like melt it, at least I've never melted the plastic, so really, the more time you get it, the better off you're gonna be. I mean, eventually it'll probably melt away, but that takes quite a while. Okay, so we're just going to bend it up like this, and the plastic wants to run away a little bit. So we're going to bend it, and then I will attempt to hold this guide. The guides that we make will be much easier to use, so you definitely want to hold that there. And make sure you hold on to the plastic, because it does want to slide away. And I don't know, give it a good 30 seconds to cool. And hopefully this worked out. This tiny bend is kind of hard. This is only like five asins of plastic. I think I made the bend here. So small bends like this are definitely more challenging to get right. Just because the plastic does kind of want to run away on you. So it worked out pretty good. Um, I think it'll do. At least for this PSU shroud, it seems to be pretty much 90 degrees. So, I guess we will do the second bend because we can kind of do it all together here and get all the bending done at once and then just hope it fits. It should fit though. I measured everything twice. Okay. Don't mess up. Wrong way. What do you mean? You can't... What are you trying to do to me, Hank? I don't think I've messed up too much yet today. But you like it when I mess up, so... Flip it over. What do you mean? This... This is going to go against the wall of the case here. And then this is the other side of the PSU shroud. What... What were you trying to say with the, like, I thought you wanted to make a lip because we're going to put some screw holes through the case wall and into this. I think it's wrong. You think it's, well, maybe we should just go with it and see what happens. Maybe I'm right for once. I don't know. I guess you can try to explain it to me before I bend it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Well, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe I got the wrong idea in my head of what you wanted. I hope not. Are these camera angles working for you guys? I guess you can let me know, because I have this one as well. But that one might not be as useful. I'm about to mess up. The small bend should be face up, but I, that way it like hides behind the PSU, and that way you don't see it, is my plan. Is not is that not how everyone else would do it? <laughs> I thought the first one would, Yeah, that is down. So they're both down. You know what? What I don't know, maybe I guess I, did I have it flipped over? Maybe you were right. Okay. We're all confused today, perhaps. It is only Tuesday. How's everyone's Tuesday going? Just go for it. I'm working on it. It takes time, Hank. The, the, the bender takes time. Be patient. Let the tool do the work for you. It shouldn't be too much longer, though, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> you guys are confusing me. <laughs> We're all confused. How many modders does it take to make a PSU shroud? So it looks ready to bend. Let's do the second bend here. See if I can hold this up at the same time. Like I said, once I get the guides done, which is hopefully tonight, this will be extremely easy. Yeah, we can't hold it up at the same time. So. We're going to bend it and hold it. And 
that should do it. As long as I got my measurements correct, it should fit. So, cross your fingers, boys. So, how'd I do? I guess. Wait, which camera are we using? This camera? Okay. Both bends down. The smaller part will be under the shroud. Screw it from the back, and it's hidden. Yep, that's what I was thinking, Marcus. So, let's see if my plan is a, is a success or not. I got the case right here. So, let's get to work. Can you guys, like, actually see it from that angle? You should be able to. So. As long as it can get up underneath here. There we go. So, it should work just fine. Um, we just got to screw some, drill some holes in it. So, I marked off where the end of the PSU should be. It's right there. I don't know about an end cap. Um, alternatively, I could have like left a square piece off the end and then bent that down as well, which might look all right. Um, in the past, I've just made a piece to kind of fit inside here, and then I sanded it and glued it and everything, and kind of a pain, but you can cap it off. I know some people would definitely want the end you know, covered or just make it go all the way down, one of the two. So I got the drill here somewhere. And I guess we should mark off some places to drill the holes and get to work. Uh, I got the back of it marked as well, or taped, so I'm thinking that this kind of goes basically right along the bottom there. It's tough to really tell where exactly we'd want all the holes. Please say it's long enough to cover them. Yeah. It covers the whole main PSU pass-through, I think, if you, like, the end of it's right here, and then the end of the PSU shroud's right there. So if I do end up making a cap for it, you know, all the cables should be hidden. Um, but let's see here. We're going to want a few holes, and the shroud kind of sits, I don't know, it's tough to guess with the holes in this. I've never actually done it this way because I've always just let them sit there. <laughs> but I'm always down to try something new. So let's see, the top of that line. So anywhere right underneath that should work perfectly. So, get our handy dandy ruler out. And probably go right about there. I'm thinking. So we'll put a screw, there's a hole there in the case, five inches, and we can do one more at two inches, and then we can try to put one more further down. Three sound good to you guys? If I make it at two, these are all evenly spaced. There. So, we got three holes marked out. Bend me one. Keep flipping acrylic to heat it evenly, and when bending to a 90 degree, bend it a tiny bit more. Yeah. Definitely, for sure, Marcus, those are all good tips for when you're bending. As with 3 mil, I've never found that I had to, like, flip it over. Maybe I guess it'll help do it, you can do it a little faster, but, um, with 5 mil, I've just let that sit on there for, like, 10 minutes before, and that, that did end up bending it, so... That works too, but flipping it over is also a good idea. So, let's drill some holes. So first we're going to drill through the case, and then I think I'll hold the uh, PSU and drill through that. Or we can at least mark it through the case, hopefully. So this cable cooperates.
down. Two to go. up yet guys all righty so let's hope those are in the right place huh Did this stream stop? No. I'm just not moving at all. <laughs> that was confusing. So, there we go. We got the shroud there. And I'm thinking I can either just hold it and drill it, or I could somehow figure out how to mark it. But we'll try winging it first. What do you think, Hank? Should I wing it? So I really think if I just hold it here, because it's in the correct position, and we can see the holes through the case here, should go according to plan. Hey, look at that. It worked, guys. Let's get the other two done. Did I miss one? Oh. I think this is the end one, right? I can't tell. Where is it? It is. Haha, I found it. I think. This damn piece of tape. There it is. Get all the tape out of here. All the holes are drilled. They all seem to hit their mark. At least I think they did. Huh. Let's get the tape out of the front. There we go. Okay, so I got some screws here. And a screwdriver somewhere. Let's see if it all worked out. Screw gun. Should get rid of the bender too, but. So I wonder if I have to. Yeah. I'm gonna have to drill the holes out a little bit bigger. So, handy dandy drill bits. I'm wondering though. And just make them bigger with the bit because I don't think there's a size in between for this guy. Would this one be too big? Hmm? Actually, it should be perfect. We shall find out. You know, they make these high tech things called cordless drills, they run off a of battery. Well, Hank. Some of us can't afford cordless drills. 
I probably actually stole this thing from my dad's shop, so that's why it's just old and crap, so... I like to work with what I have. So, let's get these holes a little bit bigger. This really is really bad, though. Just gonna let you know. The chuck does not like to hold a bit for anything. You can go and blow them separate. Just don't want to mess and drill a bunch of holes in the plastic. The cord is a pain in the butt. I'll give you that much. We got that one. Last one. So, let's all cross our fingers and hope the hole is not too big. I had steppers. I know. I got them on my shopping list tank. So I'll get the steppers. It might be working. There's one in. So I'm thinking that like this still this PSU shot isn't finished clearly because it's clear. Um, gonna paint it up with something or other here, obviously spray paint. But um, I'm thinking of some kind of design. Uh, if you want, I could even attempt to mod in one of those screens that I use. If you guys want to see that, kind of a little bit of work, but. It's doable, and I believe I have a working screen somewhere in my shop. I think it's in my crap bin, but it should still work. <laughs> so if you guys want to see that little mini monitor mod, um, I don't know if Cody or um, Carlos is in chat, they could link the video even that I've done it. If somebody wants to see me do that live, I could definitely work on planning that for you. But otherwise, we can just like paint a design on it with uh because like i got the vinyl stickers and i can cut them out to whatever like logos or patterns that anybody would want so if you just want to paint it we can do that as well and i'm open to suggestions for i'm gonna move the bender we're done with the bender for the day these need to get to hank so but I don't know, what do you guys think? Mini monitor mod or just paint it? Hank, what's your idea? Okay. So it looks like the PSU shroud was a success. It's in there, like solid. So it seems to be at least. Um, I don't know, does anybody else have anything to add about the, the PSU shroud? You can, uh, one of those screens, I believe, would fit just fine right here, so it wouldn't be that, you know, impossible. How about a chicken nugget mask? You want you want a chicken nugget on there? Put like an LED strip under there and have a glowing chicken nugget? Mini monitor, so we could do a combination of both if people are into that. Um, 
you guys will just have to let me know, I guess. But that's like the PSU show today. Like I said, do you guys want me to start on the front panel? Um, I mean, unless there's anything more you would like to see with the PSU Shroud, I guess. I don't know if I missed anything or not. Hope not. So, there's the front panel. And I have the Dremel here. So, for the front panel, the plan is to get that, that piece of acrylic that we had uh, cut and etched. Yeah, the smoked acrylic. And we're going to mount that on here. So, it's actually slightly bigger. I believe I made it half inch bigger than these lines that you see. So I've got some little standoffs that I'm going to paint today actually. I got them all ready to paint here. So I just got little standoffs that I'll be able to screw in here or bolt in here and then the panel will just drill some holes through it and then I got some little button head bolts. So that should work nicely to secure it. But I'm going to cut all this out so then, like the, not only do you get a little better airflow, or you should, not that this case even needs it, I don't think, but also I've got some, if you notice, I got some LED fans in the front, so we're going to see how well that lights it up, because that'll be interesting to see if the fans are able to light up the smoked acrylic and kind of light up the logo. So, should we monitor displaying a nugget? <laughs> We can do a mod do like a gift nugget even. You can have a moving nugget on your PC. So we can we can definitely look at the mini monitor mod. So does anybody want me to start digging into the front panel mod or should I save this for another day? It's all up to the audience here. Who wants to see me start cutting up this case? I'll plug in the Dremel. I'm serious, boys. Come on. Do we need to like start a poll and have people vote on it? Oh boy. I definitely need a better stream set up. Because this is not at all meant to be a workshop. But bear with me. We make it work. Just like my crappy drill. It works. What design are you going to do on the front panel? Um, can you add pictures to this chat? Um, if you look, I don't, it doesn't have an add button. Let me try to drag and drop a picture really quick. Uh, I have one right here. No, it definitely does not. <laughs> I can, there's, there's pictures of it in the group. Uh, they're floating around in there somewhere. I posted them last week. So you can check out that. It's just the PPC's logo. It's etched in it, and then I have like a circuit board pattern cut out of it, so it's pretty cool. Yes, what's up, Cameron? So, should we cut it? No. No to what, Hank? You can't just say no. <laughs> Is that a no, don't cut it? <laughs> Come on, man. This delay is killing me. I think it's like a solid 10 seconds or more, so... Let's see what, what Hank's no is all about. I'm getting tempted, though. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Make up your mind, dang it. So let's see how it goes. We're just gonna start on it. I'd be wearing safety glasses, but... Well, plastic just kind of likes to... I don't know if you guys will be able to hear me over this thing, but I'll try to talk as I go. Well, plastic just likes to kind of melt, usually. So I kind of end up just taking multiple passes at it and just take like layers off at a time. Yeah, 
And I'm cutting just inside my line because I can sand it down smooth, or at least that's the plan. one side nearly all the way cut like I said it's not quite perfect but we're gonna be sanding it down anyways so there we go there's one side I can keep going if you want um we still got a few people watching it's up to you guys I figure I can probably just finish cutting this 
after the stream here. You guys get the idea. So I'll get this cut out for everybody, and then we can... Let me switch the camera. So after I get this all cut out, then just drill a couple holes in the corners here. I just plan on having four standoffs, and that should work for the front panel, and that should be arriving today. So let's see, Thursday, I suppose, for the Thursday, 12 p.m., same time stream, it uh, we can start putting that on there. As far as the other mods go, as I was trying to hint at earlier, dang, this made a mess. So, I was going to make a reservoir wall, so I guess just to let you guys know, the plan is to put in um, just a, I was thinking just a square reservoir right here, uh, I'll be making out a 5mm acrylic. So, I've got an idea on how to mount it and everything, so mainly I'm just going to cut out where you see these these lines start. So. This area should be the reservoir, and then it, it'll mostly sit in the back here. I figured we'll just take up that space. That way, if you were to mount a radiator up here, you wouldn't you know, run into clearance issues with your custom reservoir. So that's the plan, at least. You guys will have to give me any tips if any of you have made custom reservoirs, because I, for one, haven't, so it's going to be a whole new adventure for me, and we'll see if I can make something that doesn't leak. Um, other than that, though, guys, a, I hope you enjoyed the mods on the stream today. Uh, like I said, I'll be finishing up that front panel. We'll get on that Thursday. Um, I've also got those dies in now, so we'll have to do that one of these days. And we got more mods planned for this. So definitely stay tuned. Hit us up in Discord. Join the group if you haven't already. Uh, you can watch this publicly. Um, like our page. Do all that jazz. And I hope to see you guys on the next stream. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.